Labor's plans to scrap the Channel Migrant Deportation Law in its first 100 days in power. We're going to read into this exclusive from iNews, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an exclusive from iNews with the headline of Labour plans to scrap the Channel Migrant Deportation Law in its first 100 days in power. However, Sakir Starmer will not scrap in for the Rwanda bill or two other controversial Tory acts. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. Huh. Why would he not scrap the full Rwanda bill? That's very interesting so clearly from the looks of this here and we'll rewind we'll into this momentarily guys so is he not still committing to stopping these these is he not labor still not committing to stopping these flights now obviously this could be misinterpreted as parts as because it says here and it's very important to understand the interpretation here will not scrap the rwanda bill in full now, that does not necessarily mean that he's going to carry on with the Rwanda scheme. Context really matters there. The state's Rwanda bill. Okay, so I, I think we need to take that in a bit into the context here when, when we're looking at this. And that is for sure. But um, I do honestly believe that Yvette Cooper will do far more than what Priti Patel, Suella Braverman and James Cleverley, uh, as among, other foreign sec um, among other Home Secretaries, have done We'll, we'll do a hell of a lot more uh, when it comes to dealing with migration. And I think one of the tougher ways that they will do with that is getting more uh, civil servants dealing with the backlogs um, uh, of, of migration. And I think once they're able to get on top of that, we will see um, a much more uh, asylum applications, both either process, whether they are for or against. We will see quite, a, I wouldn't be surprised if we see quite a few deported back to their back to home countries as well, because a lot of them will not be able to get their process put through. So we will see a clear backlog. We will see, I also believe that not in the first 100 days, but it'll be a start. Yeah, it will take time. But I do believe they will reduce the amount of migrants being holed up in, in barges, in in hotels and whatnot. And I think if, if they have the civil servants to be able to do it, they will be able to clear it. I really think they, they will be able to clear it. It will take time, but it will be done. But then you also now have this question. So what do we do about how do we stop the, the boats crossing the channel? Now, I, Labour, we'll, we'll read into what Labour are saying, but one of the best ways to do is create a safe legal route for them to do so. In doing so, you will stop the boats crossing over. You also reduce them uh, so their lives will not be in danger. You also stop the smuggling gangs because you'll create uh, a safe place here for them on the side to claim asylum in the UK, uh, to claim uh, to claim asylum in the UK, and they will be processed wherever they can stay or go in the UK, not in France, but you basically have a place for them to be able to make that claim. So if you do that, so it also stops trucks, truck drivers who are coming and crew on Calais as well. So you don't have that. It also means that you save a significant amount of money of us that we give to France on their side because we pay France a lot of money. In doing so, so uh, you you also reduce the amount of money that France has to has to pay for as well if you were to do that as well. Because we give a lot of money to the French. We give a lot of money to the French. Imagine if we just put that to set up a, a processing or a, an application for them over there and then we simply a case of deciding of whether or not we want to accept them or not. And we can simply choose to say no based on our premise that we're not going to accept you and that's the end of that um so it will significantly reduce the numbers because we will create a safe legal route we will deal with the, the smuggling games will drop dead because they will people will less likely cross because there's going to be a legal a way proceeding to do so you also uh, reduce the costs of trucks uh of from uh companies that are driving through calais to dover and vice versa as well because of the security that they have to go through as well. So you also reduce that. You also, and, now, and like I said, you reduce your saving taxpayer money as well because we be, won't need to give as much money to the French to deal with looking after their borders as we are right now. So there's a couple of reasons um, why why I think we should be doing that. But let's read what Labour are, uh, may or may not be planning here. 
sorry, it says Labour are planning to introduce new laws to crack down on channel small small boat crisis in its first 100 days of government if it wins the election the I has learned. The plans are being worked on by Sir Keir Starmer's Future Legislation Committee led by the Shadow Commons leader Lucy Powell and the Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper as the party prepares a major change in direction on asylum by scrapping the bereaved Rwanda deportation scheme. Powell's committee is looking at what pro- uh, policy promises will need to be put before Parliament in a Labour government's first King's speech including laws to be introduced in the first 100 days. The party will not scrap in full a trio of high controversial conservative pieces of legislation, the National Ease and Borders Act, the Illegal Migration Act and the Safety of Rwanda Bill. But it will act quickly to instead introduce new powers either through a small boats bill or a so-called second legislation that will scrap one of the Tories' most controversial reforms, this duty to deport all uh, all channel asylum seekers. The Refugee Council has warned that the so-called duty to remove all other aspects of the Illegal Migration Act would force 1, 000, uh, over 100,015 people into the permanent limbo by the end of 2024, stranding the UK air and tipping the UK asylum system into meltdown. The charity says the entire act must be scrapped to end these damaging efforts rather than uh, only the duty to remove, warning that tinkering will not solve the problem. However, Labour believes scrapping the duty will remove uh, to remove will be enough to begin tackling its promise to clear the asylum backlog within a year of recruiting new staff. The party also does not believe it needs to scrap the safety of a wonder bill because it will simply cancel the policy, making the legislation effectively useless. Shadow ministers wants, uh, want to use the first 100 days in government to focus on introducing new powers, including a party, the party's five-point plan on, on small boats crossing rather than spending parliamentary time scrapping Tory bills. This will include new powers to smash the gangs, smuggling people over the channel uh, by expanding the use of civil uh, civil orders and counter-terrorism measures used to tackle terrorists, drug traffickers and other serious criminals. We will replace the Tories' failed plans and bring forward our own legislation, our Labour sources said. Despite announcing Labour's five five point plan in November, Starmer has come under sustained Conservative attacks for having no plan to tackle the small boats crisis. Rishi Sunak on Monday said the operation can't tell you at all what they're going to do about the problem and he announced a timeline for his uh, troubled Rwanda deportation plan to become operational, although this has been met with scepticism. Labour have also faced pressure from refugee councils to scrap the Illegal Migration Act, which has warned that even if the government meets an apparent target of deporting 2,000 people to Rwanda in the first six months of the scheme, 115,000 asylum seekers will be left stranded in the UK. Under the Act, people are banned from applying uh, for asylum as their case are deemed inadmissible and the Home Office is under a duty to arrange for their removal. However, the report shows that in reality, only a small proportion are likely to ever be removed from their own country or Rwanda. Charities CEO Eva Donovan said this would lead to another entirely avoidable system meltdown with tens of thousands of people in hotels at the cost of billions of per year. Any government that wants a fair and effective system should repel the legislation, stop wasting resources on futile endeavours and focus on the vital task of processing asylum claims promptly and fairly, he said. Asked whether that meant repelling the act in full, he said, you need to repel the entirety of the act. You can't just tinker around with the bits of it. Charity policy, political analyst uh, Joe Fenneby adding, there are so many bits of the act that they are interwoven. It's quite hard to see how you can unpick the different bits of it. And if the purpose, the whole purpose of it is to have a functioning asylum system, you really need to repeal the whole lot. Well, they want to repeal the whole lot. Labour, have no, Labour do not intend to repeal the whole lot. Now, whether it is the right thing or the wrong thing is up for debate and one that I'm sure we will continue to have a debate about. However, I think, yeah, many people will agree that I think we will take our chances with Labour when it comes to dealing with migrants than we would with the Conservatives right now. Um, You know, you've had 14 years of them. They promised that they would, um, that leaving, uh, you know, the whole Brexit thing, we were supposed to take back control of our borders. We have lost control of our borders in this, uh, since then. Um, they have promised to, if you soon have promised to stop the boats, he has not stopped the boats. He's not come up with a realistic solution. There, there are still many, many issues, guys, with this. Uh, whether this will work or not, we'll have to wait and see. But I think, you know, I, I'm willing to give Labour a chance when it comes to migration. Um, so um, my, my initial final thoughts is, is let's, Let's wait and see what the manifesto will say in Labour. But this is a bit of an insight into what they potentially could be doing. That is for sure. But like I said, I think Yvette Cooper 
will have a much better grip on on this than uh, than James Cleverly is right now. I think that's something that um, that is for sure. Whether you agree or disagree with me on that. But based on this article, what do you think, guys? What do you make of this, of the plans that Labour have <coughs> when it comes to scrapping channel migrant deportation laws in its first 100 days in power? Do you think Labour will get a grip on this? Do you think Labour will have a sustainable plan? Or perhaps do you think things will get worse under Labour? Let me know your thoughts and more in the comments section down below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further, financially support me in the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content there as well. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.